Hello. <laughs> well, I was supposed to be interviewed, and there were technical difficulties, so the interview is off. And I was like, you know what? Here I am in my office. A little bit of time to kill. Why don't I make a video? And that's what I'm doing right now. Something we've been covering a little bit recently, and that we always cover, is this idea of giving yourself space. Allowing yourself just to be. Just to be. And for me, uh, as someone who's very curious about these manifesting concepts, these manifesting theories, you could say, I nonetheless find myself coming back to just allowing myself to be as my underlying uh, approach to these manifesting ideas. And really, just my underlying approach to life. <laughs> Something that Richard Dotz talks about really well. You know, we've read from Dollars Flow to Me Easily a couple times recently. Something that he talks about really well in basically all of his books is that when we allow ourselves to just be, to just kind of vibe out or just, you know, sit down, inwardly relax, put no pressure on ourselves. When we allow ourselves to just kind of be there with no pressure, if we do that and we sink into that ease, what often comes up naturally, spontaneously, are these feelings of what we want, what we really want on like a deep, you could say energetic level, meaning feelings of, you could say peace or fulfillment, or perhaps love is a better word of describing it, satisfaction, safety. I don't care what word you use. It's, it, the words are gonna, you know, depend on your sensibility. But what Richard often talks about, what I often talk about, what I think a lot of spiritual teachers talk about, not just you know manifesting teachers, is that when we allow ourselves just to be, we realize that things are better than what we think. And if we view it from this kind of you know manifesting angle, the way that uh, Richard explains so well in his books, we realize that we often are projecting or superimposing lack over this, you know, beingness, this okayness, this goodness, this peace, this love, this fulfillment that's right now and always here, underlying everything. And we project all this shit over it or pile on all this shit on top of it. <clears throat> And the thing is, it, it, it's still there. It's always here. Even when we pile all this crap on top of it, it's still here. And so like what Richard says in a lot of his books is like, if it's still here, all you have to do is recognize it's still here. And when you recognize it, if you really sink into that, that feeling of abundance, that feeling of abundance or that feeling of peace or love or whatever you want to call it, that feeling energetically is the feeling also in all likelihood, the general feeling of anything you desire in the 3D. If you want like a relation, you know, a romantic partner, that feeling of fulfillment when you just allow yourself to sit there and recognize that you're okay and that your peace and fulfillment right now is energetically very similar to that feeling you think that romantic partner would provide you. Or if you want, you know, a higher paying job, that the feeling that would provide you, that feeling of fulfillment. 
or if you want to be in better health and better shape, that feeling of actually having that is what's already here underlying everything and that we you know project all this stuff onto or put all this crap on. So if we step back more, sit down, relax inwardly, and recognize it's already here, then we quite literally already have what we want. We recognize it energetically as having it now. And the more we do this, the more regularly we do it, the more we recognize that we already are, you could say, abundance itself. The more our external reality, Richard would say, and a lot of these law of attraction teachers would say, the more our external reality will match up to that as well. But as I always say, even if your external reality did not match up to it that much or at all, and you just felt better more of the time because you accessed this fulfillment that you already are and recognize that you already are okay and fine right now, even if you just got that by doing this, that would be enough. But to manifest external changes as well, I mean, that's just a cherry on top. That's an inside out approach. That's my approach. Most of the time when it comes to this stuff. I love that because it feels so right to me. And you might have a different approach, but I... And first of all, very, very much an advocate of you having your own approach, your own, your own way of looking at these ideas. But I do think that all of us, basically, are looking for that fulfillment that's already there, that's already underlying all of everything, and that we project all this limitation onto, pile all this junk on top of. We're looking for what's underneath and what I think is already there. And again, you know, check out Richard's books. He says, you know, you just, you just tap into that. Tap into that magic feeling, as he likes to call it. Or as I talk about in The Joy of Not Thinking, so you just vibe out. Stop, stop thinking so rationally. Just be here now. Allow yourself just to be here now, and you realize you already are it what you want you already have it energetically there's no need to look yeah you can thrust that sickle into the ground right as neville says something like that no need to look to the hills you already have it energetically and that's what I'm really interested in sharing if this interview had happened that's probably what I would have shared because it's what I always share or try to share is that underlying fundamental truth which is what you are right now Good stuff. Always good stuff. If you have questions or if you'd like coaching, I can be reached at radicalcounselor.com.